Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Casual Gamers Online, Ashley here and today in this video we're gonna talk about the 2022 replay for Maple Story M on Casual Gamers Online YouTube channel. Hey guys, as you know on the last live stream, I actually revisit the Maple Story M and try out a few things. Okay, a lot of people actually mentioned nothing much has changed but we do have a few new characters since I stopped 9 months ago. So after 9 months, I decided to take a look at it and the nostalgic feeling has not left and I really feel awesome again trying Maple Story M. I'm going to give it another try this time to see how far I can push a new character to. But of course, now Ice Lightning Mage, the main that I'm playing, is currently not very good at end game. So I'm going to restart in 2022 in this coming this May. We're going to restart everything all over again on a new character. So I put up a community post a few days ago and talking about whether which character should I play? I give the option of Blaze Wizard, Pathfinder, Dual Blade and Cannoneer and to my surprise Dual Blade is super 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 high vote on it okay we have 59% of people voting for Dual Blade I'm quite surprised by the numbers I thought people would want me to play Cannoneer the new character or cut my Ice Lightning Mage over to Blaze Wizard but a good thing now we have to we have to try the Dual Blade and I'm excited to do it as well. I've never played a team class throughout the whole journey except Phantom and the rest of the class are for farming. So the tribe has spoken, we're going to do Dual Blade guys. So for that, Dual Blade is a team class wielding two weapons, a dagger and a katara. Okay, for I'm not so sure what is it all about and all this thing, but the difficulty is about like four level out of five. The defense is two, exactly like most of the, uh, how to say, most of the team class except Phantom. Phantom is super tanky because of the steel skill, but the rest of the team class are super paperweight, okay? And their attack is super full, very nice. There's a lot of combos that you can do to get the next out of this character itself. Super nice combo, I've checked the videos and whatnot. And for our journey for Dual Blade, it's super simple. I'm going to reboot my dream team. As you guys watch my Maple Story Mobile, I have countless of uh, characters on Maple Story uh, Mobile. A lot of accounts that my my brother, my cousin who does not play, and lend it to me. So I have a Bisha at level one nine seven. I can't remember the shade level, Phantom level, Lumi, Marksman or Xenon. Marksman and Xenon is kind of new that I created myself and start training. So for this case, I'm going to reboot the entire dream team just for my dual blade. Okay, and for the farming of note stone, instead of cutting off and selling away items from the ice lightning mage, I'm just going to leave it to farm note stone and then uh, to finance the entire playthrough. So this is the all the team that I'm going to have on the dream team. Most likely will be for four characters, Bishop, Shade, Phantom and Lumi, followed by the... Uh, Dual Blade. So these are the characters I'm going to reboot. I'm going to go through them on Saturday this live stream. So our journey for part 1 this Saturday, what are we going to focus on? We're going to enhance armor, weapon, secondary weapon to Star Force 144. That is going to super power level my characters. The Dream Team will carry the new Dual Blade and hopefully you'll power level up the character fast enough to level 170. Okay, to unlock the hyper skill. So the purchase of new character package to get 5,600 girls. So I'm going to do one-time investment to buy a new character package to get a 5,600 crystal so I can unlock all the uh how to say the hyper okay the fire fire icon I can't remember what is it called I'm going to scout for good base membrane and pass me in all events for all the accounts so this will be the journey for part one and we're going to see you on live Saturday 10 p.m live stream Singapore time okay on the 14th of May I'm gonna see you guys there I hope you guys can join me on the live stream we will be enhancing the item to SF144 and hopefully we can keep it under budget and not use too much meso enhancing so I'm gonna see you guys on the live stream on Saturday I love you guys miss you guys